you. <sighs> Theme. Theme. Sloth. Sloth is of all the passions, the most powerful passion. Indeed, no passion is more powerful than the sloth. This is the mode in which the mind is most affected, and indeed, it not. The mode in which the mind is most affected, and indeed, in no mode is the mind more affected than in this. By passion, we try to stay the movement of the soul, pursuing the flame, real imagined pleasure or pain, pleasure or pain, real imagined pleasure or pain. Of all these movements, if we can offer them, of all these movements, they are legion. Sloth is most urgent, and indeed, by no movement is the soul more urgent than by this, by this, by this, to and from, by no movement of the soul more urgent than by this, to and from. Listen. <laughs> tonight. Love. Love. My club. Joe. My lord. Love. Love. Love is of all the passions the most powerful passion and indeed no passion is more powerful than the passion of love. This is the mode in which the mind is most strongly affected, and indeed in no mode is the mind more strongly affected than in this. <sighs> By passion we are to understand a movement of the soul, pursuing or fleeing real or imagined pleasure or pain. Of all... Oh, God. Of all these movements, then, and who can number them? And they are legion sloth. Is the love is the most urgent, and indeed by no movement is the soul more urged than by this too and from. Bob. Bob. Love. No! 
fakes. The fakes. The fakes. The fakes. so cold and faint, with eyes so dimmed by what had passed. It's, it's, it's quite piercing. Beauty, beauty is, is a little. It's a eyes widen to a stare and begin to feast again. What, what then is seen would have been better seen in the light of day. That is incontestable. But, but how often it has in recent months how often at all hours, under all angles, in, in cloud and shine, been seen, I mean. And, and there is, is there not, in, in that clarity of silver, that, that, that clarity of silver, is there not? My Lord, Now and then the ride, swayed by a light wind, casts and withdraws its shadow. Uh. Leaving aside the features or, or liniments proper, matchless severally and in their ordinance. Uh. Disordered hair as though spread by on water. The brows knitted in a groove, suggesting pain, but but simply concentration, more likely all things considered on some consummate inner process. The eyes, of course, 
closed in keeping with this. The lashes, the nose, nothing. A, a, a little pinch, perhaps. The lips, <laughs> tight. A gleam of tooth biting on the under. No, no coral, no swell. Whereas normally <laughs> the whole so blanched and still that we're not with a great white rise and fall of the breasts spreading as they mount and falling to their natural aperture. Later, however, such are the powers. No! The brows uncloud, the lips part, and the eyes. <laughs> the brows uncloud, the nostrils dilate, the lips part, and the eyes. A little color comes back into the cheeks, and the eyes open.
My lord. My lord! Yeah. <laughs>